Today we will be studying the fractures, the named fractures, the important fractures in orthopedics with the where they are located with the help of a diagram and I'm labeled it. So the C1 fracture, Jefferson's fracture, the C1 here and now C2 to C3 fracture also called Hanksman's, fra Hanksman's fracture. Now C7 to T12, Clay Schlover's fracture. Now Chance fracture is also vertebral fracture and it is caused due to excessive flexion of the spine. So this is very important nowadays and it is very much asked. Now move on to the Malgagny's fracture. It is the unstable fracture of the pelvis. And also now if we move a little down. Now this is dashboard, dashboard fracture and it occurs here at this location and due to the many much this is very commonly occurs when the accidental cases so accidental fracture dashboard fracture now Chaffer's fracture it is also called Hutchinson's fracture and uh, it is most commonly it involves the styloid process in the forearm now the we will be talking about the Barton's fracture Barton's fracture it is the fractures of the distal radius it is also sometimes the dorsal tie fracture. It is very difficult, but uh, it is the fracture of the distal radius which extends to the dorsal aspect of the articular surface with associated dislocation of the radiocarpal joint. So this is the Barton's fracture. Now we move to the Box's fracture. So Box's fracture, it is the break of the fifth metacarpal fifth metacarpal bone of the hand near the knuckle so this is the boxes fracture it most commonly occurs in the boxes now the bennett bennett's fracture so bennett fracture it is the fracture of the base of the first metacarpal here it is the base of the first metacarpal which extend into the carpo metacarpal joint so this is the bennett's fracture now rolando's fracture we move on to rolando's fracture what it is now Rolando's fracture it is the commutated intraarticular fracture through the base of the first metacarpal bone from the base of the first metacarpal bone the first bone forming the thumb this is called the Rolando's fracture now the Potts fracture and the Cotton's fracture so first of all we will talk about the Potts fracture it is also called Potts syndrome 1 and Dupuytren fracture so Potts fracture is an uh, variety of the bimalleolar ankle fractures injury is most commonly caused by the abduction external rotation of the eversion force due to the eversion force so it is pots fracture it is the bimalleolus and if it is a trimalleolar fracture it is called the cotton's fracture now chopart's fracture it is intertarsal so chopart's fracture Dislocation of a mid tarsal joint of the foot with association of the fractures of the calcaneus, calcaneus, and cuboid and navicular bones. Cuboid and navicular bones. This fracture is associated. And now we move the up here. So, leaf pot fracture, they are here. And uh, Tripods fracture, it is in the zygomatic arch. Now, Montagia, Montagia fracture, it is the fracture of the one third of the ulna with this dislocation of the proximal head of radius. So, this is Montagia fracture. Now, Nidistrick fractures, this is the ulna fracture. Now, Galezi's fracture. So, Galezi fracture, it is the distal one third radius fracture with this location of the radio ulnar joint so very important very very important these both now this is again more important coley's and smith fracture so first we will be talking about the coley's fracture coley's fractures it is a type of fracture in the distal forearm see in the distal forearm uh, in which the broken end of the radius is bent backwards and uh, it is very common extra articular fracture now we move on to the smith's fracture smith's fracture it is the fracture of the distal radius again it is the fracture of the distal radius 
and it is caused by the direct blow to the dorsal form a forearm or falling to the flexed wrist so smith's fracture if we fall to the flex wrist flex wrist and the coolies if we fall uh, by the extended wrist so this is the difference between the both of them and both occurs in the distal radius so this is important now pylons pylons fracture pylons fracture what is the pylon fracture fracture of the distal part of the tibia distal part of the tibia involving its articular surface of the ankle joint so involving the articular see this is this surface the articular surface of the ankle joint now jones fracture what it is it is the fifth metatarsal avulsion fracture this is important now march fracture it is a second third metatarsal shaft fracture so this is also important now Liss franks fracture what it is Liss franks fracture it is also called Liss frank injury injury of the foot in which one of one or more of the metatarsal bones are displaced from the tarsals so this is one or more uh, metatarsal bones are displaced metatarsal bones are displaced from the tarsals so this is all uh, i have covered mainly all of the uh, important fractures important fractures which can be asked in the neat pg exam so remember these and all the best thank you